Peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everyone. Um, I will talk about, uh, you know, we know in the Quran and we know Muslims believe that Muhammad he did fly to his God Allah and Allah he sent him a very very strange kind of limousine uh, or transportation. Allah he is not taking prophets by saying one word to go there anymore he is taking them to the sky by a flying donkey so by this video we will see what this flying donkey is about from where the story is coming is it true we will see that we will see in here as we see in the picture that this is a, a, a painting made by Muslims for the flying donkey uh, it's, it's a female uh, animal have long hair like a woman she have a face of a woman she is so pretty as you see the lips you know uh, maybe uh, maybe when you see her, the the face you will like the, what you see right and I wonder why she have to be a female and if you see she is wearing bracelet and she is so pretty and she is wearing gold etc and man long hair wings it's and white you know it's necessary to be white because white is symbolic of what if uh, um, pure so according to Muhammad Allah he took him to his sky by this kind of transportation it was a flying donkey now if we go and see the mythology of uh, uh, of the flying horse of the flying animal we will see that this mythology is exist long time before Islam and let us take a look and we will see together in the old ancient uh, Greek, Roman, and even uh, 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 Middle Eastern like Babylon and Iranian, this mythology is exist. As you see, this is coins exist long time before even Christ, not even Islam. And you will see the head of the king in the side of the coin, and the other side of the coin have a flying horse. Now, uh, those coins represent, you know. Uh, not one king represent tons of kings all of them they insist to have that horse as a sign in their coins and you will see and you will wonder like why the head of the king and the horse in the coin like the, the king putting his face there we understand but why the horse well horse flying horse will give you a very uh, 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 powerful image uh, almost you are like God you can fly, you can go wherever you want, and this is like superpower over your enemy too. So those kings, they they would like to have that horse. They are dreaming about having it. And we, if you go and search in Google or Yahoo, you will see. If you go to uh, uh, go to the Greek mythology, you will see the story about that exists there. Uh, the flying horse. Uh, according to Muhammad Allah he sent him this uh, donkey it is not a horse it's not a donkey it's between as a size and it's a female white very pretty very sexy and Allah he did use that as a transportation to take Muhammad from earth to the sky then from the sky to Jerusalem then from Jerusalem to Mecca and all of that by the flying donkey the donkey was not walking he's flying and this is all happened in a very short period of time now later we will show you a hadith about Muhammad wife Aisha she's saying Muhammad he never leave the bed when I was one you know at that night when he claimed to want to, he went to heaven now if Allah he used a donkey to carry him and is if his body did not leave the house or the bedroom or the bed of his wife so what the donkey for to carry the spirit of Muhammad there's something wrong in there anyway we will see that in the coming video and I hope you enjoy this uh, coin ancient coins showing you the, uh, the flying animal who was exist long long before Islam and no Muslims can say oh this is not uh, 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 Muhammad copying from others they copied from us because those people exist from before Muhammad, you know, thousands of years. Thank you very much.